What's up y'all? Welcome back to Double J Outdoors. If you're new to the channel, welcome. It's Memorial Day weekend, and you know what that means, setting a trot line in front of the house for catfish. If you haven't seen any of my previous trot line videos, I highly recommend you go and watch them. You won't be disappointed. I want to say a few things during this intro. First, the fact that it's Memorial Day weekend. The weekend is to honor and remember the service members who sacrificed everything in defense of our nation and freedoms. We should be grateful and blessed that we get to wake up and come home every day to our family and friends. Second thing, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. It's free. I got lots of content ranging anywhere from fishing to boating activities to hunting. If these activities interest you, subscribe. Y'all stay tuned for a great weekend of fishing and boating. Let's just see if Dad and I can catch some big catfish for a fish fry on Sunday. Y'all sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. Just had that storm roll through and pass by. And I think we got these catfish biting. Uh, I've got one off camera, and it's a keeper. I just caught another one. I think it's a little too small, but I'll show you guys anyways. As you guys can see, they're just little baby channels. This one will definitely return, let it get a little bigger. <laughs> yeah, these fish are biting, and see if we can't get some bait for this trot line. I'll take catfish too, but I want some perch for these big yellow cats that are in this water. Dad and I decided to come to the local boat ramp and see if we can't get some bait. Maybe if we get plenty of bait, we can get a trot line set tonight. We'll just see what happens. Nothing. Perch, big old shad, and some river minnows. We got a couple, couple good sized minnows. Take that over those shad. All right, so we're here and gonna get a trot line put in the water. It's been raining, so always brings on a good bite so we'll see what happens We're just gonna put out a few hooks here and uh, I don't know what you call this anyway the, the lake goes up in between all of the houses and uh, this is you know, four or five feet of water and then we're just gonna tie up over here and we're gonna go from there and we're gonna go to the corner of our boat dock here We got some large minnows and some big shad we're gonna put on there. About luck. So right now dad is getting the weight on one end of the trot line. And if you're not familiar with how a trot line works, obviously it's a line from point A to point B. You have weights that drag the line down to the bottom. Dad and I finally got the trot line out. It's baited, and now we just wait overnight. It's kind of like Christmas morning. You never know what's going to be underneath that Christmas tree. You guys have a good night. I'll see y'all in the morning. Good morning, everyone. It's Saturday. Dad woke me up really early. It's like 5:45. And he comes in and says, fish on. So we're going to go see what's on this line and maybe it's some big ones. Yep, yeah, a little bitty guy right here. Uh, you can see the big tail up there. We've got. Uh, 
you guys might not be able to tell, but movement right there. Okay. Yeah. It's a good eating size. Perfect. Not real big. Got another one up there. I'd call that a successful haul. Need to get some perch today. Hopefully we can find some and get that on the line. That'll bring in some big flatheads. But I'll take these three for sure. Dad and I are doing some rod and reel fishing and I think I found the honey hole. Getting lots of catfish, one keeper. Boom. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a, this might be a decent catfish. Good. That'd be a good one too. Probably a little bitty thing. Ooh, that's a nice one. Yep, that's a keeper. Maybe. That boy put up a fight. <laughs> All that work for that. <laughs> Dad and I just got to the local boat ramp. As you guys can see, got the seine, and we're gonna see if we can't just get some perch. We'll get plenty of bait, but we're specifically looking for perch. So let's just see how we do. That was a much better pool we got. No perch, but got a lot of minnows. I'll tell you what, I've never seen so many baby bass before. We just got a haul. It's that time of the evening to go 
get this line baited. Dad and I had a lot of luck off camera catching perch. So we got five or six of them. Big ones though, so hopefully that attracts the flatheads. Alright, so we got us a good size perch here. There below that fin, pull the scales off. That's gonna be a big flathead in the morning. This hook here is gonna get a. Oh, we have a perfect size little perch. Due to the storms that are rolling through right now, Dad and I have decided to not check the lines before bedtime and let the storm pass through. Hopefully, we wake up to some massive flatheads on the trot line. But until then, you guys have a good night. I'll see y'all in the morning. Good morning, y'all. It's Sunday check this line it's been storming all night uh, dad gave the line a little tug we might have one fish so we'll see yeah it's a little flatty Little flathead, huh? Looks thirteen inches to me. Eighteen. Oh. Eighteen is the 18. I've been doing some off-screen fishing and we've caught three more channel cats, keepers. Uh, some of them will just be nuggets as uh, meat, but still food. Uh, after breakfast, we're going to start cleaning these fish and I will get a close-up of all the fish we've caught. All right, time to start cleaning some fish. Just do a little uh, video for you guys of what we've caught. Uh, there may still be more to come, but we're gonna start cleaning them to prepare for the fish fry. So as you guys see, you got the yellow cat, channel cat, all, all the rest of the uh, catfish we have right now, channel cats, but uh, this one isn't too shabby. They're a little dirty right now, but not too shabby. It's a bullhead channel. And then lots of small ones. Yeah, lots of small ones. It'll be perfect eating size. Saturday evening. Gonna get this line baited and see if we can't land the big one. We got one more night to do so. If you guys seen the previous two years, we've landed some big yellow cats. So. That's what we're after and that's what we like to trot line for. So we're gonna use a little bit of perch, live minnows, and cut up catfish. Trot line is baited and now we play the waiting game. So you guys have a good night. I'll see y'all in the morning. Good morning, y'all. It's Monday, it's Memorial Day, and our trot line was skunked. Sometimes that happens. We really wanted to land the big one, but just didn't get the luck this year. Well guys, we've reached the conclusion of this awesome Memorial Day weekend. Hope y'all's was just as good as mine. I always hate this part of the trip. 
having to pack up, go home, get things ready to go back to work. It's just never fun. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. You guys take care. I'll see y'all 